School safety is again the focus here at the White House. The president will meet with state and local officials today to get their ideas about how to tackle the crisis of mass shootings. It follows a day of pain and protests here at the White House and all across the country with students, teachers and parents calling for change. Overnight, the outrage intensifying after last week's deadly school shooting. In Florida late Wednesday, students and parents demanding answers from lawmakers in a CNN town hall. Fred Gutenberg lost his 14-year-old daughter, Jamie. Your comments this week and those of our president have been pathetically weak. Look at me and tell me guns were the factor in the, the hunting of our kids. I absolutely believe that in this country, if you are 18 years of age, you should not be able to buy a rifle and I will support a law that takes that right away. Senator Rubio, can you tell me right now that you will not accept a single donation from the NRA in the future? That is the wrong way to look. First of all, the answer is people buy into my agenda. You a spokeswoman for the National Rifle Association also taking part. This individual was nuts, and I, nor the millions of people that I represent as a part of this organization that I'm here speaking for, none of us support people who are crazy, who are a danger to themselves, who are a danger to others, getting their hands on a firearm. Earlier Wednesday at the White House, more painful pleas to President Trump directly. Andrew Pollack's daughter, Meadow, was among the 17 killed in Florida. Should have been one school shooting and we should have fixed it. And I'm pissed because my daughter I'm not going to see again. Students, parents and teachers demanding change, not just on gun laws, but on mental health and making schools safer, even discussing the controversial idea of arming teachers. And we're going to be looking at it very strongly. The president, with a list of notes in hand, including one reading, I hear you, listened intently. How do we not stop this after Columbine, after Sandy Hook? Meanwhile, some students protested outside the Capitol. And White House. Enough is enough. And across the country, school walkouts. In Tallahassee, 100 Stoneman Douglas High School survivors, joined by thousands of other students, marched on the Florida Capitol. We won't stop! We won't stop! And President Trump has indicated he may be open to measured legislative changes, including strengthening background checks and even pushing the age requirement to 21 to buy an AR-15. That's the weapon used by the Parkland shooter. When the president floated the proposal of arming teachers on Wednesday, there was some strong opposition to that idea in the room. Hoda. All right, Kristen Walker at the White House. Kristen, thank you.